what I'm really doing is I'm using the hash marks glitch. Once he reacts to this corner route, break yourself, fool! It's a super easy one play touchdown. Then you left in the dust. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay slash offensive scheme video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be attacking a very specific defense, a defense that a lot of people consider essentially the meta in Madden pretty much since February, and that's cover three. This particular offense I'm going to show you today is the reason I started using the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. And this offense is just going to absolutely destroy anybody that runs cover three, which is like 90% of the people you see online. If you guys want to see more offensive based gameplay around coverages, do me a favor, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. I just put out a full breakdown of an offense similar to uh, this offense out of the same playbook, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook that was specifically geared towards man zero blitzes. I'll put a link in the description for that. So if you struggle with that, it's also a very good offense that I put out, a very good gameplay that I put out. Other than that, I'll also put out a link to the this defense that I'm going to show you right now. This is going to be the defense I'm going to be running. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be mixing in a lot of defenses in this gameplay, but this is a defense that I just put out. The Will Fire 3 scene. This is a very good blitz and a very good run defense as you can see on the very first play. My opponent ain't going nowhere. The second play is going to do the exact same thing. Nope. He's going to end up with the exact same results. That makes him turn to the offense I'm going to show you today. And that's basically the uh, the split close, which is, you know, he must be using the Bucks playbook. He's got the Bucks logo. He's probably a Bucks fan. Uh, so we're probably both using the exact same playbook. And you're going to see that he's going to have the exact same success as the second he switches to the split close. He busts me for about 15 yards on the very first play. Very next play, the exact same thing. I get a little bit of pressure, which was designed. But he beats him right over the middle for another big chunk play. So not only am I going to show you how good this defense is, my opponent's going to show you how good it is by basically beating me right down the field as he's picking up 10 plus pretty much every play. Then once he gets inside the uh, 30, he decides to switch up a little bit, which was a mistake. Nope. But that's pretty much where his offense is going to fizzle out. He pretty much, he should have stuck with the split close. Second and eight, I'm just basically, I switched my defense up entirely. I'm running cover four quarters, which is something that I've run quite a bit. You can see right here, we shoot the gap. Get over here! get another stop uh then on third and nine he does this a lot where he goes empty backfield i basically hit him with another defense that i put out recently we can go I'll put a link in the description for that blitz as well. As you can see, we get an instant sack, and we force the field goal. So he goes right down the field. Pretty much all the success he had was from this very same offensive formation, the gun split close, which is the formation I'm going to show you guys today. All the stuff you see in his gameplay today, I've put out in practice mode videos. So if you want to learn how to do any of this stuff, just go into the description and click the links. It's really that simple. Now, the only real adjustment that I make is I typically switch my running backs around because this particular running back is probably the running back spot that gets used the most, the most important in the passing plays and the run plays so i typically want to flip them and put my best running back there other than that i also put the fullback inside i replaced the slot curl play which is my x play uh, i typically want to have the fullback inside there but you you know there's a lot of different plays you can choose there's so many great plays in this particular formation this is my go-to offense right now and on 99 percent of games i start the play off with the fullback inside it's multiple times i've taken this run play to the house but ultimately i just want to get to the sideline it serves a dual purpose i just want to see what defense he's running which obviously is cover three because that's what everybody's running but I also want to get to the sideline. I want to run these plays from the sideline because all the cover three one-play touchdowns I'm going to show you are all best run from a hash mark. So the first play I'm going to show you is going to be the Z spot. This is probably one of my favorite right now because there's so few tells. There's only one adjustment. All I have to do is streak the B route, and that's all I have to do, and it's a cover three one-play touchdown. But based off of the fact that I can see my opponent is usering on the left side, I know that he's never going to be in position to make a play, which is one of the reasons if you're going to run this offense, identifier is really key it's one of the best things that you can run is identifier when it comes to mutt on offense it's only a point you put it on alignment it's one of the best things in the game in my opinion now i also like to motion out the stop and go around put them on a smart route because cover threes and cover ones both have a single high safety so if i'm wrong if he did switch it up i could always go to the cover one man beater on the left side so it's a really easy play to read left side cover one man right side cover three when it comes to the cover three all you really have to do is watch this cornerback here once he reacts to this corner route break yourself fool it's a super easy one play touchdown then you left in the dust so two plays into the game and we're gone on the defensive side on the very next play i try to set up my defense i get caught on a defensive tackle Oops. well i see where he's gonna go with the ball but i'm just i'm too slow i'm stuck on a dt on the very next play it's gonna happen again oh come on 
<laughs> as I'm stuck on my even slower defensive tackle this time. You can see in two plays, he's going right down the field. Then on fourth and inches, I, I meant to use the defensive end here, uh, but I didn't expect him not to be able to put his hands up when I tried to jump that route. Oh, he almost had it. First and goal, he starts hitting me with some uh, goal line plays. Like I said, this guy, he likes to run the ball, but he's not that good at it, so I don't know why he keeps doing it. You suck! As he only picks up two yards, he's having way more success passing. So on the next play, I get stuck on the defensive tackle again. <laughs> Come on! Only this time, I'm not going to let it stop me. Gotcha, I'm coming away with an interception. Big man, 300 pounds, slowest guy on my team. I was looking to pitch it the entire way, but there was just nobody that I could pitch it to to try to take it to the house. So back on the offensive side, I'm going to run the spot option play. This is a play that I put out in a gameplay not too long ago. If you guys want to see an updated Pistol Bunch TE out of the Saints playbook on Saturday, let me know in the comments section with the like button. I want to do an updated version of that as well. That would be a practice version. So if you guys want to see that hit the like button this is the setup for this particular play although my opponent as you can see he's he knows where the play is going now now that i beat him once up the seam he's not gonna let that happen again so i gotta take the flats on the very next play though we're gonna go right back to the split close offense and we're gonna go right back to the same play i probably shouldn't have been a little bit smarter i probably shouldn't have went straight back to the z spot but i had some success the first time i wanted to see if it would work again and then sure enough he's watching that again so i can't keep hitting the exact same one play touchdown this is what's gonna happen if you have success with the play a lot of times people will make sure to user that no nope. make sure it doesn't happen again so i take the flats one more time which once again serves a dual purpose i'm going to consistently try to get this offense to a hash mark whether it's on the left or the right all these plays are designed to set up the next play and get to a hash mark so i'm not going to use the z spot anymore that plays out mm. but since he's watching that side i'm just going to switch to the other side and run the paf slide <laughs> Because essentially what this guy is doing, all he's really doing is watching the, the two receiver side. He's basically cheating over that side because he's noticing that's where the one play touchdowns are coming from. He doesn't understand what I'm really doing is I'm using the hash marks glitch, which is essentially running plays from the hash mark to the opposite side of the field. All I have to do in this particular play is run from the hash mark and streak the X route. That's all I really have to do. And once again, I'm just going to watch this cornerback until he loses interest in the receiver that he's covering and essentially turns his attention to the crossing route. And at that point, I just bullet and pass lead away uh, from the safety. Once again, we have a very big play. We didn't quite get gone this time, but I mean, I'll still take the big play, obviously. Now that I'm inside the 10, I'm going to go with what is one of my favorite red zone plays. I use it all the time. It's the cross drag play. It's one of the best red zone plays in the game, especially when it comes to passing. I mean, there's obviously, you could run the ball in if you want to try, but all I really do is streak this A route. He's going to be the main read. Then I'm going to put this running back on a pattern and motion him out and then put him on a slant. The crosses are really meant for cover four quarters and man coverage, but ultimately the tight end is going to be the key read. That's All my dudes put him on a streak, and if it's a cover three like my opponent's been running this entire game, it's going to just be a simple pass lead outside. It's going to be open right up the cover three seam. As you can see, he was more concerned with the crossers. That's typically what people will concern themselves with, or is the bunch, and that's a complete mistake. So we get an easy touchdown. We're up 14 to three, back on the defensive side. Once again, my opponent's coming out in the split close. He has all of his success in this formation. I don't know why he didn't stay in the, the entire game kind of like I did. As you can see right there, he's beating me for another very easy play. Then once again, in the flats, the flats are killer in this formation. This is one of the best things about this formation. You don't even have to hit one play touchdowns because the flats beat cover threes all game. So on the next play, I'm gonna switch up entirely i gotta i gotta hit him with something different so i go with the cover three cloud show too this is a defensive formation that a lot of people don't know how to deal with because they can't really read it pre-snap on the next play you can see we get some tight coverage on the mid read nope and it basically knocks the ball out then on third and four he comes out in that empty backfield look again which obviously he's passing and we have the exact same result where he basically you know tries to dot up the tight zone coverage nope but it pops the ball out once again so fourth and four he's gonna go for it one more time like i said i got all these zones crossing right over the middle there's nothing open he throws an incompletion i'm getting the ball right back ha! Got him! Ha! we're going right back to that cover three we're going to keep trying this particular play because i'm hoping he's not following it but i just don't trust it because he's sitting in that spot he's sitting in that zone so we're going to go ahead we're going to just throw it to the flats once again like i said anybody running cover three the flats are always going to be there since he's watching that side we're going to go back to that paf slide you can see the pre-snap read is very important all i'm going to do is streak this guy over here watch for the you know where the user is with identifier and boom he's not on that side so we're just going to get a very easy one play touchdown to that side like i said that play didn't score the first time but it definitely scored the second time you can see my opponent made an adjustment too he was sick of the uh the flat so he made a hard flat coverage adjustment it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for him but it didn't matter because i'm trying to go up top every time so back on the defensive side up 21 to 3 
you got balls. I don't know, man. I just messed that up as a user. I mean, that really should have been an interception. I probably picked those off 99 times out of 100, but for whatever reason, I just let them go right down the field on me in one play. Then on the next play, I mean, I basically make another user error as I just I just cut that off too short. So two plays, and he's right down the field on me one time. But this is where he's had the most trouble is once he gets into scoring range. And I got to be honest, I play pretty good defense when I'm in a box like this. So on the first play, nope. he throws an incompletion. On the next play, the second I see that running back, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to run the ball. So I do try to tighten up the line a little bit, and he just kind of falls forward for a couple of yards. But really, he shouldn't have got anything. So now he's basically third and goal. I got a good feeling it's going to go for it on fourth and goal. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go with the cover four quarters. This is a very good goal line defense. Uh, I've put this out out of multiple different formations. I really think this is one of the better ways to go. And I'm going to use it again here. As you can see, he's coming out in a goal line set. Pretty much just going to send the house. I'm just going to basically send everybody, go run commit, and sure enough, we get an easy stop. Nope. Although he got very close right there as he goes for the fullback dive. Then I'm going to go with my fullback dive defense, which once again, out of the 3-4 under is the cover four quarters. This is the second play in the formation I was telling you guys about. It's a very good run defense as a whole. All I'm really going to do, the real main thing that makes this a good defense against uh, fullback dive is shifting this line so this defensive tackle is right in this gap. If I do this, he's going to blow this play up easily. Now, of course, he switches the play at the last second, goes the opposite way. Nope. But luckily, we still get a shed and we still get a stop. So very good run defense, although I have my back against the wall here. Not a good place to be in, but since I'm up three touchdowns, I don't really care. On the first play, though, he tries to send the house, comes out in a cover zero. Uh, so I'm going to try to beat him with that cover zero. I got very good plays for man zero. I said I had a previous play where I was just torturing a guy with man zero the entire game. The buck seems is one of the best plays to run. Uh, but on this next play here, I throw the ball a little bit too soon, and we're throwing an interception. It was, just, you know, it was just a bad timing throw. And I don't know how, but looking at it from this angle, how this guy doesn't score, but somehow he figures out how to not score, and he gets the ball back to the one yard line so on the next play first and goal we're going to do the exact same shifts tries to hit me with a quarterback dive which is a good adjustment nope but he doesn't get in he must have had his knee down then on the next play we're going to do it one more time he goes for that fullback dive one more time nope we make that shift though and like i said you're just going to get that stop because he looks like he lost a yard in my opinion then on the last play he finally gets smart goes with a toss in the complete opposite direction once again how do you not score from there you've got barry sanders five yards there's nobody in front of him instead my dude comes out of nowhere with a monstrous hit stick and we're getting the ball back at the two again which is not a position where i want to be in but with three seconds left he figures why try down three touchdowns so he's gonna end the game there so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this do me a favor hit the like button or let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below